Our major conferences and events are back in Hong Kong with their 16th Asian Financial Forum taking place over these two days. It is the first large-scale business exchange of the year, which comes as the city resumes border links with China. An optimistic sign of economic recovery. Deborah Wong with more. Whether it's setting up a new licensing regime for virtual asset service providers or offering subsidies for fintech companies to test their new products, the message is clear. Hong Kong wants to enhance its status as a global financial centre. Chief Executive John Lee laid out these ongoing schemes and more to an international crowd of over 2,000 people at the Asian Financial Forum. We'll be leading delegations to long-standing and emerging markets in the region and around the world. We need to tell them, to tell the world, that Hong Kong is back on the center stage and what that means for the countries, economies and companies that partner with Hong Kong. What it means is opportunity, long-term, long-rewarding opportunities. Hong Kong has sent delegates to Southeast Asia and the Middle East to pursue business links and recruit talent. Mr Lee himself led a delegation to Wu companies in Thailand when he attended APEC for the first time as chief executive last November. The forum comes at a significant time, just days after Hong Kong resumed border services with China, laying the groundwork for recovery after ending 2022 with a recession. The city has long positioned itself as a gateway to the mainland, and that forms a core part of its appeal which deemed in the last three years of pandemic restrictions. The territory is also banking on a raft of economic policies announced last October, chief of which was attracting global talent through a two-year visa. It so far garnered 2,600 applications since it launched in late December. Deborah Wong, CNA, Hong Kong.